Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks in today's video is about how to make a font bolder that is not boldable. You can see right here this particular font, the boldness and the italics is high, not highlighted, so you can't bold this font. And I've made a couple of videos on this, but somebody watched it and said they want to engrave it and cut it out, and maybe I wasn't clear in the first video, so I'm going to redo this. So you've got your text selected. If you just go up here and left click on no fill, go down here and right click on outline, and I've got mine set at hairline, then go up to effects, contour. My computer's a little slow tonight. Contour to the outside, point, we're going to go with point three and hit apply. Then go up to arrange, break contour apart. And if you have your pick tool on act as field, you can just click in the center of that. We're going to move it up. So here's our new font. Now it is a hairline, but it's black. I would turn that to red, just so you'll know, and then go up to black and left click. And now you have a engravable font that will actually cut out also. Now these two letters are attached, but that's not a bad thing. Anyway, so to get something to cut out, and even if you did not have that, let's, let's give it no outline. So there's just the text by itself. And if you left click, no outline, and then, so you don't have an outline, then let's, or excuse me, right click, and then left click, no fill, you have nothing. So to make sure it's there, right click hairline, just look down here, make sure it's hairline, and then right click fill. These will engrave and cut. Now I would probably never cut on that line. So let's do this. Let's say, let's go back and put a hairline around it. And let's move, let's grab the font out of the way. We'll tell you what, let's just, let's change the, um, here might be the best way to do this. Let's put no fill and then go up to your smart fill tool, fill these in and I'm going to cursor them down. So now we have a field and this is our outline, but now we're going to contour just a little bit. Let's go 0 0.01 just so you can see what's, or 0 0.1 so you can see what's going on and then hit, hit apply, go up to range break contour part, grab in the center. Let's just move that out of the way. So now you have a little bit of a contour. Take that and turn that into a red hairline. And this is only so you'll know. And then move your text, your fill back up by the same amount. So now you have a cut line that will leave a little bit of wood around your product. I think it'll look better than just cutting the letter off. Anyway, I hope that answered his question, and thank you for watching.